Man, we've got one of the most amazing vehicles I've ever seen in the history of Volo Auto Museum. This is one of the most impressive vehicles ever. It's a 1956 C800 cab over with a sleeper and a fully enclosed box car hauler. It's totally retrofitted with a Cummings diesel motor, air ride suspension, air conditioning. This is concourse restored. When I show you underneath, it's nut and bolt. And I mean stainless steel nuts, I mean painted red frame. This thing is incredible. The detail is amazing. $250,000 was spent building this machine. This thing is very functional, it's usable. If you have a race car, show car, if you have uh, motorcycles, use this thing. It'd be the hit of any event that you go to. You can store your car in there. It's an insulated bed, throw a little heater in there, store your car. So I'm gonna take you on a virtual tour. This video is longer than our normal videos are, but it's incredible the detail anyone that appreciates a good quality uh, mechanical item will enjoy watching this video. So come on, I'll take you on a virtual tour. Up front here, all of the chrome is done to show quality. It's like a mirror, literally. Beautiful chrome. These are Ford fog lamps. Over here, it's a 1956 license plate. It folds down, makes a step makes a second step so you can climb up high and clean your windshield. The paint is like a mirror. Look at the reflection. Every item is re-chromed. Stainless hardware is used throughout. It has the accessory corner finders. Look at the emblems, all perfectly restored. Up high, it's got a louvered hood, hood ornament. These are Ford spotlights. They work. All of the glass is redone. All the rubber gaskets around the windows are done. Stainless steel mirrors right from Ford. Up on top has some very cool looking torpedo style lights with functioning air horns. Every emblem, every piece of stainless is perfectly restored or new. Look at the paint, it's a mirror reflection. Ford step plates. It's got stacks for exhaust with crimped, powder-coated pipes. See, crimped, powder-coated pipes. You have two 12-volt batteries. And look at the detail of the chassis that gives you a glimpse, the type of restoration. Big polished gas tank on each side. This is a 1980s double wide sleeper. It's a double wide sleeper. And fully carpeted, has gasket seal and every compartment locks. It 
It's a ribbed, polished, stainless steel. Great Dane. In this compartment, it has air. Rubber gasket. I want to demonstrate the amount of detail here. Can I get that? High end latches. Lights galore. This is a safety in case the wind picks up and blows the door. Nice big wide door. These were custom made for this truck. The railing comes off. Pins pull out on each side, they remove it and you put it inside. Dual axles, each have dual tires, polished aluminum rims. Get a glimpse of the suspension in there. In the red chassis. It has a dovetail design. That's the air compressor for the horn, air hose, and air suspension. This remote lifts the door. That's automatic. You come on inside. All diamond plate floor. Completely paneled and insulated. Has some sort of system here for helping lock in different items like motorcycles. The light switch. And, and notice the surround so they're protected. And this one here is for up front. Those two. We got a built-in shelf. You can store anything up there. All paneled ceiling and walls. Brand new winch, never been used. Matter of fact, the cable's not even on. Right here, we've got a toolbox. Oh, brand new. It, it locks into the floor, so anywhere you want. Switches on either side. You can plug in right here. Look how they even hit the wires. 
And here's one more switch. It has a rubber seal. So look how beautiful this box is. Up at the top, it's got some special framework. It's got lights. Another compartment. Also with a rubber seal. Look at the fender. It's a metal fender. Resembles the 1950s style truck fender. I come over here and I'll demonstrate. Here. Now, who would think of crazy detail like that? A big compartment. Okay, nice diamond plate trim around the front. Really nice deluxe handle. We can come back and show that a little more. But. Big compartment, rubber seal, huge gas tank, bigger than the other side. Look at the polished straps, everything's painted. Got stacks. Step plates, 1956. And look in there at how nice the chassis is. Look at the stainless steel polished pipe. This is perfection. Look at that. Every everything is pristine. Aluminum wheels. It's all metal. Even the wipers are polished. Look at how perfect this is. Look. Look at the detail and how everything is painted, braided, stainless air conditioning lines. Look down in there. It's a Cummings diesel engine. It's not even dirty. Maybe you can try and get way in there too.
Okay, the power windows, power locks, the door panels are upholstered to match the seats. It has machine turned dash with classic gauges. Look at the mileage, 364 miles since this truck was built. Overhead, it's all redone. It's painted beautifully. Got a retro stereo. Watch the cowl out here. Oh, the key's got to be on. Never mind. The seats. That stick shift. Overhead horn. Air horn up here. And then nice rubber transition, you know, strip stereo system. Big, really big. It's all upholstered nice. Lights. People can see the air. Am I supposed to be filming you or sure. keeping it off? I want to show the seat belt. Do you want it? And you can share. The curtain goes in there and hangs down. It's got heat and air conditioning controls. Speakers. There's a CD changer in there. Actual closet. This one has a bar. For hanging your clothes. Okay, so that was a little walkthrough of some of the technical aspects of this truck and what it has to offer. But now I have a car show to go to, so I'm going to demonstrate how it functions. So we're going to fire it up. I'm going to load up that beautiful Chevelle and show you how easy it is. It has cold air conditioning, by the way. Also has a hitch receiver for a trailer and it has trailer brakes. Everything's functional. Parking brake, air conditioning, gauges. Air horn. Stacks are nice. I love that sound. Even the brake light on the dash is flashing red to let me know the emergency brake is on. And I told you it rides on air. So right now I'm going to let the air out. Now the back end of the truck is dropping down. It'll bring it so low, you could load a Ferrari in this trailer. The lower it drops, the less of a, an angle you have pulling the car in. And tighten up these cables.
That's a 16 foot Chevelle and I have more room in front. You can fit a bigger car in here. Show you how easy it is to close the door. Obviously it needs to be strapped down. I'll do that, but I don't want to bore you with that. This is going to be an attention getter. You pull up into any car show, which I'm going to do tonight, there's going to be a crowd around this. They're all going to want to know what's inside this box as that door is coming down. Notice down here, like I said, it has a hitch receiver. It's all, all polished stainless steel. All premium latches. There's actually three places you can plug this in. Have to undo the safety latches on the door. I'll do the same on the other side. Uh, the stairs, two pins, pull that out. You can store it on that upper deck or leave it behind, but it does store easily on that shelf. Probably be easier to do. I should have done it before I put the car in there. I'll take care of that and I'm gonna be on my way.